So OpenAI just announced that they're working on search GPT, which is a prototype that's going to be added to chat GPT in the future. Right now it's not available to the public. So you have to click on join waitlist, but essentially what search GPT is going to do, it's going to allow for a natural and more conversational style search. Uh, and it's also going to provide relevant links to the sources that it uses when it provides an answer to you. So, for example, again, if you're searching for a particular topic right now on ChatGPT, it's very difficult for it to give the most up to date information uh, because, again, it's using its own trained resources. But what SearchGPT is going to do is going to have an addition to ChatGPT where it's going to basically provide you the most updated information for that particular topic or whatever you're asking to based on a search on the web. Again, this is the exact same thing to what Perplexity does right now. If you're not familiar with Perplexity, so Perplexity AI is a super popular tool and they have completely honestly changed the way we search for, for things on the internet. Again, Google used to dominate this entire field, but since Perplexity has come into picture, it has actually stolen a lot of traffic from Google because a lot of people are now utilizing Perplexity to do their search um, and actually have an interaction conversation with with the search. It's a, it's a really cool tool if you're not used to it. But essentially, the way it works is, for example, you make a search of, let's say, what is Adobe's revenue for 2023? It's going to provide you the answer. Uh, but the most important thing is that it gives you resources or it gives you the sources that it got the answers from. So as you can see on the right hand side here, uh, it gives you five sources that it provided this answer to. So currently, ChatGPT obviously does not do that. And it's very limited when it comes to providing the most updated information from the web, uh, because it relies on its trained parameters or its trained resources. Um, obviously, they have their GPT and the GPT store where they can use uh, or even in the 4.0 model, it has the ability to search the internet, but it's not very robust. It's not very accurate. A lot of times it doesn't give you proper links. So what Perplexity does, that's kind of the big differentiator. It gives you very relevant resources and it gives you the most updated information. And then you could always have an interaction with your search so you can ask it a follow up question. And then it will also give you the ability to search for images, search for videos or generate an image if you have the pro version. So that's exactly what Search GPT is going to do. Search GPT is going to be an addition to Chat GPT. So it's not going to be a separate product, but what it's going to do is actually give you the ability to Again, as you can see in their demo here, uh, it, it will give you the most updated information doing a web search. But it's also on top of that, it's actually working with publishers. And in the bottom of their this uh, report, they mentioned that they're partnering with these publishers and creators to give you um, a highlighted or a high quality uh, information and the most updated information based on these partnerships that they have with these publishers like Time Magazine, New York Times. I mean, they have a they have a ton of uh, partnership that they've been recently announcing uh, with, uh, you know, uh, resources like the Atlantic routers, all of that stuff. So this is going to be very exciting because, again, uh, existing chat GPT users are going to be able to utilize this addition instead of using a separate product because right now like i said it, chat gpt is very limited when it comes to providing the most updated information because it's relying on its trained resources and i think the current version uh the 4.0 model has been trained till september i think september of 2023 or something like that i could be wrong there i'm not 100 percent sure but but anyways the point is it's not going to give you the most updated information so this addition will definitely improve uh the way people interact with chat gpt uh, because because again, it's going to be able to provide those sources, those links where, uh, so let's say if an article has been released recently about a particular topic, when you interact with search GPT now, it will be able to provide that live link uh, or that accurate link because it's going to use that resource to provide the most updated information. So this is going to be very, very exciting. And again, right now, the problem is that it's in prototype stage, meaning that you have to join the wait list. So it's not fully available. I would imagine they're going to release this uh, to a few people uh, in the beginning just so they can test it out. I've already clicked on join the waitlist, so we'll see whenever it comes. I'll test it out and then probably make another video to kind of compare to perplexity. But overall, like I said, this is very exciting because now you have all these different resources that's going to improve uh, the search quality because obviously Google's going to utilize, it's already utilizing Gemini in their existing search. Uh, and then perplexity is going to keep improving based on the existing data that they have 
have had for a while now, uh, kind of seeing how people interact with these AI models to refine their search. And now search GPT being added to chat GPT is going to enter the market. So there's going to be some good competition here. Anyway, it's very exciting to see whenever they release this. Hopefully this is going to be as good as perplexity because then you can only use, then you will only use uh, chat GPT to be able to kind of do all of these things together where right now I'm kind of using chat GPT for one thing and then using perplexity for uh, to get the most updated information and if I'm looking for some kind of a, a particular resource then perplexity is definitely the best option versus chat GPT so this is definitely going to improve the quality of chat GPT um, by this addition to its existing uh, sources all right hope you found this helpful I'll see you on the next one